I'm Katrina Hormartin. I'm South African, currently living in France. And I got involved with Equal Playing Field through Erin Blankenship, one of the co-founders. Uh, we studied together in London um, about seven years ago. And she called me up one day and said, will I help her organize some soccer clinics, football clinics for the foreigners? Um, I said yes, of course, because Erin always comes up with interesting, crazy ideas. And she sold me by saying, it'll just be five and all I need to do is a couple of emails to correspond with NGOs and partners. And I said, okay. And now we're up to about 16, 17 clinics globally, of which the first wave is happening behind us in Cape Town, South Africa. My name is Pusha Mudisa. A former player of Banyana Banyan. Um, I used to play for my national team. I used to score goals. Yeah, I'm known about that. Other than that, a very cool person. <laughs> yeah. I started playing football when I was, I think, six years old because I, I grew up around boys at home. I had three brothers and they were very passionate about football. Mm -hmm. Then they used to take me when they go to their games and play. Then I end up having a, a little bit of an interest because I love the game. But the nice part about the game, I didn't really learn how to play the game. I just fitted to the game because I was every time having a ball in my feet, every time having a ball in my hands. So, you know, when I started to play the uh, street football, um, you know, you don't, you don't be have this one of the guys seeing the talent from my township and say, Posh, come and play with my team because I have a boys team, come and play with my team. That's when I started to play in the bigger field. I was playing for under 10 boys. Then I started to grow there. Then when I started to play for under 17 boys, I started to realize that I could have something better about my uh, football career. Then I started, I didn't even know that there were women playing football. I thought women, they were not playing. I thought I was weird. There were a few girls who came to me and said, Coach, we want to continue playing soccer, but there's no platform for us to play soccer. That's when RB United uh, started. We gave them soccer balls. They kept on coming to trainings. Then that's when we discovered that there is a need for, for, for a girls soccer team, you know, in our community. My name is Vuyonwe to Kai. I was born in Eastern Cape. Uh, I'm a program coordinator for grassroots soccer um, and also an RB United head coach and also co-founder. So the clinic structure for EPF is based on three to five days, around 100 plus girls and women. We're trying to get as many older girls involved as possible, 20s, early 30s, because soccer and sport isn't something that should stop when you finish school, it's not something that should stop when you're 15 all women should have access to it. Not to necessarily become a professional or a competitive, but to participate in something that's an unbelievable, it shouldn't be a privilege, but it's a privilege to play it. And it's a fun thing to do. And it creates so much opportunity and skills development that women don't necessarily have access to. I'm, I'm giving back to my community. I don't have money, but I have the skills, you know, to, to take kids away from drugs. Because in our township, there's, there's this drug that is so in, they call it in your open, and it, it kills the young generation because we come from these different backgrounds where at home no one works, only probably your uncle or your mother has, is having a job and you have almost 11 kids at home and that, that person can support the whole family with that salary gets. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to, to give those kids hope that even even you come from a different background, it's still possible. I'm the example. I come there in a in a very difficult background, but I managed to to, to become who I, I used to be. I'm creating a safe environment for for girls to express you know, themselves, you know, free from gender stereotypes. You know, because there are people in my our community who are not used to that. Mm -hmm. Who are not used on girls playing soccer. Mm -hmm. You know, they think that you're wasting your time. You know, they are not good at all you know so I'm trying to 
change that and say girls can play soccer even better than, 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 than boys only if they're given a chance you know, mm -hmm. to, to express themselves mm -hmm. and also to build their self-efficacy you know because some of them they might say ah, I'm not good at, 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 yeah. at all that but giving them that platform you know and also motivating them to, to do better you know, they can you know, achieve their goals the choices that they make in life you know they're making good healthy choices now mm -hmm. that they they are joined they joined Alfa United because Alfa United is not only a soccer team also we are supporting them academically because we we, we 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 want to tell them that soccer alone we, we want to actually give them balance between mm -hmm. soccer and also uh, uh, academics you know and also other life skills you know mm -hmm. programs that we that we that we run with, yeah. with them so the choices that they make are healthy choices mm -hmm. and even at school I mean, she's better in math she's doing better in school she can read she can focus that's what i love and it keeps her away from trouble you yes, know absolutely. yeah i love it we don't we're not reinventing anything we're trying to amplify the work that's already being done in the places that we hold them so we're partnering today with grassroots soccer and rv united of United being the first all-girls soccer team in Kailicha. Um, so we're just helping them continue the good work that they're already doing. So our local partners invite two to three other NGOs to come and participate over the three to five day period. And they run small workshops throughout the day, um, educating on HIV, educating on women's empowerment, women's rights. Um, so it's not just soccer, even though it is soccer focused. We use soccer as the platform for which girls can have access to all these other skills, all this other information that they wouldn't necessarily have had access to previously. So when, when, when we'd go to a group of, of guys playing soccer mm -hmm. there and say, guys, can you please use the field for 30 minutes? No. So they'll get out of the field and we'll use the field for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. After 10 minutes, they'll complain and say, ah, we're wasting our time. Mm -hmm. Guys can't play soccer. This is a waste of our time. You know? But it was four years back, three, four years back, you know, but now these girls, they can compete against them, mm -hmm. you know, so they, they, they getting that respect that they deserve. Yo, I've been fighting for that word, quality, uh, you know, for, 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 it, it, I think it's, it's so nice when, when, when they could say Pele did one, two, three, uh -huh. and they could say come back to us, also uh -huh. Martha did one, two, three, with this we have that mm -hmm. map also, we can be recognized with our work. Mm -hmm. So. For me, it's very important because it's what we're still fighting for in South Africa, that mm -hmm. gender quality, that it's, it's fine. If guys, they have a PSL, why a PSL league? Why guys, girls, they can't have a PSL mm -hmm. league? But now, it doesn't happen like that. We're playing a league that it doesn't have a support. We're playing a league sometimes that it doesn't have reverence. We're playing in leagues that uh, sometimes we don't even have changing rooms. We need to be under the tree in order for us to change. Mm -hmm. So for me, I don't like that because we've been disrespected, mm -hmm. taken mm -hmm. very lightly mm -hmm. as women. So I, I, I do. I will say even with our supporters, you know, they need to do justice mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. We belong here. Mm -hmm. We are women of this country. We should get a fair opportunity, just like just like males, mm -hmm. males, males, males do, and also to develop them in a in a in a. In a in a manner in which they can progress in life because mm -hmm. I believe playing sport, engaging yourself in sport, you know, it gives you discipline, you are disciplined. And uh, and also balancing the two between like education and also mm -hmm. and also the soccer. So there's no limit to what equal playing field can achieve going forward because of the amount of people it's already attracted, the amount of amazing people that have a similar concept for what women can do and are tired of being told they can't do it and are tired of being relegate to second best or a warm-up match or lower pay or lower standards of anything involved in sport and the workplace in general. So for equal playing field, I think the sky is the limit. Quality, respect, nothing more, nothing else. Hola.